Forder's reports and insights are key to understanding the metrics behind Forder's decision engine. In this demo, we'll review how to access these reports and the many ways merchants can tailor the information to meet their needs. Let's say you're looking for an aggregate view of your data to get a better understanding of your approval rates. We designed Forder Data Studio or FDS to help you do just that. To get to Forder Data Studio from your homepage, you'd click on this icon. This is Forder Data Studio, which gives you a bird's eye view of your portfolio performance. The data in FDS is updated in real time, and each view is designed to be interactive and customizable. Forder makes creating and customizing your dashboards very easy. To create a new dashboard, select the Add New Dashboard icon at the bottom of the menu. Next, choose the solution that you would like to build a dashboard for, as well as the date range. And don't forget to name your dashboard. Now it's time to build your dashboard. Forder Data Studio has templates for both KPIs and charts to provide more avenues for data exploration. Let's start by adding a KPI widget. Select Add KPI Widget and choose from a vast array of metrics, including approval rate, decline rate, and chargeback rate. You can select whether you want to see the data in terms of dollars or number of transactions. Finally, you can name your widget. If you're unsure of the definition of a metric, simply hover over the information icon to view the definition. Now let's add a chart widget. Forder offers many different templates so that you can show your data clearly. Let's select a multi-series line chart so that we can look at the approval rate right next to the normalized approval rate. Like our KPI widgets, we can determine if we want to see these metrics by dollar or number. In addition, you can choose how you want to view this chart, regular or wide. Finally, let's add a name to this chart. Awesome. Let's add one more chart widget. This time, I want to add a pie chart that shows approved transactions by credit card type. Once satisfied with the charts in my dashboard, I can edit the layout as needed. Navigating to the layout tab, I can simply drag and drop the different widgets to be in the desired order. Finally, if needed, we can add any filters in the setup tab. This could include items like country, 3DS results, or amount. Once you're ready, be sure to hit save. All right, your new dashboard is now ready. If you want to dive deeper into a specific trend that you're seeing, you can easily navigate to the appropriate transaction view. Just click on the widget to see the list of transactions and you can dive into deeper analysis. We also have the ability to make any dashboard you created public or private. To set a dashboard public, click on the contextual menu and select set as public which will allow anyone with the right permissions to see your dashboard. On the left-hand side, the created by you category will contain all dashboards that you created and the public category will share all dashboards uh, that have been shared with your company users. It's important to note that only financial users have access to Forder Data Studio. Public dashboards are not available to all Forder users or any users outside of the account. To share these results, you can click on send as a report and a PDF or CSV version will be sent directly to the emails you have selected at your preferred cadence. Finally, if you want to edit your dashboard at any time, no problem. Simply select edit in the drop down menu to make any desired changes. By leveraging Forder Data Studio, your business can uncover key insights and trends to maximize your revenue and customer experience. 
To learn more about Forder or request a demo, please visit Forder.com.